Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very, very well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and insight. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have the Knight of Wands. And knights are often on quests. They are seeking action. They are uh, heading out to do things, to accomplish things, to meet people. And so this Knight of Wands is really seeking opportunities for excitement and adventure. He's charismatic. He is a go-getter. He's a can-do type of person who uh, uses the charm and the charisma and the ambition to move forward within life. And so for you, this is an idea to take charge, to make meetings, to take meetings, to create the opportunities, to do the things that you really love. Wands speaks to our passion and to things that excite us. So, you know, focus on what you get enjoyment from versus the things that you don't. And, you know, whether you are single and dating, you know, this is someone who has a really big personality, someone who might be spontaneous and may say, hey, let's just do something, go away for the weekend, pack your bag. Might be very a passionate but short-lived thing. So, you know, the Knight of Wands can be representative of someone within your environment, within your family, work, friends. Could be someone that you're involved with in some type of relationship, friendship or romantic. But there is this sense of take charge type of energy. With the Knight of Wands, here's the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is about the power of, of two really becoming one. Two hearts beating as one. Because this is the very deep and emotionally satisfying relationship. It's the one where you count on, where you feel that there's balance, where you, you guys understand each other, there's harmony, there's cooperation, there's a sense of equality, and there's a sense of depth that this could be a soulmate. This could be someone who is significant within your life and could lead to marriage, commitment, whatever it may be, there's the possibility here for something very meaningful and transformative. For those that are in a relationship, this is a chance to focus on the expression of love, of building intimacy, of, uh, you know, creating and rekindling passion and bonds. Okay, so we have the sun, the sun, a beautiful, beautiful card, a positive message, a fantastic message, which is the sun is our life force. It brings brilliance into our lives and life and um, high energy, excitement, this sense of carefree, um, uh, perhaps the, the carefree joy of being outside, of feeling the warmth. You can see the, the sunflowers here, the abundance, the sun suggests abundance within your life in terms of your health, your relationship, and your accomplishments and wealth. There's a sense here of feeling confident in what you're doing and how you're living and what you're accomplishing. And the sun would want you to be creative and to be inspired and to continue on that path. I would say that with the sun, it's a matter of taking the energy and the vibes from the sun and turning it into uh, enlightenment for yourself, of knowing yourself, knowing what makes you most happy, understanding yourself, and then turning that light around to others. 
So in terms of guidance here, we had the Knight of Wands, and then now we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the brash, fun-loving Knight of Wands, looking for an adventure, a great time, a wonderful storyteller. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. He's sitting on his horse, and he's kind of looking off. And, you know, this is the knight that's working really, really hard, who's very devoted to the team, to the project at hand, or to the relationship, and is putting in the hours and the energy, and is someone you can rely on. This is uh, grounded, stable energy, slow moving, but has a plan and is gonna work the plan and will be successful because of putting in the work, understanding what he, has to, he or she has to do and getting the job done. You can count on this night getting the job done. It may not be the most exciting energy, but it is reliable. So you have, in terms of perhaps of your opportunities for these relationships, you have really exciting, and maybe not knowing how it's gonna go, and then you have this reliable, hardworking, someone focused on building abundance and security and a firm foundation. Steady, very steady. Okay, so then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is the master of sword energy, with which uh, this air energy. The art of thinking, the art of analysis, of reason, of looking at facts and information to make your decisions to be objective. So perhaps the king is coming through to say, you need to cut through all the nonsense. You need to focus on what you know. You need to focus on the facts at hand as you are making decisions about if this is about a relationship of people that you are seeing. You know, make an informed decision and rely perhaps on actions versus the emotional someone telling you what you want to hear versus someone actually doing it. The King of Swords, it's about clarity, communication, and cutting through the nonsense, the BS. So in terms of your decision-making process for the week, and whatever this is for you, if this is relating to a relationship, it's relating to work relationships, or to your hopes and dreams, there's a sense here of, of analysis and clear thinking based on what you know and what you see. And then we have the major arcana card, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is telling us that life is spinning, spinning, spinning. Things are either moving quickly for you and all of a sudden, you know, life could change. These random events fly in and fly out. It's a matter of how you respond to them. And sometimes when I see the Wheel of Fortune and if you're having to make a decision, you might just delay until you really know your information, until you really know what you have to do. And for others, it's this sense of either, you know, people like to say this is the karma card and that the universe is spinning us and that's where we're headed, but there is a sense of, of will, free will as well. The universe is certainly pointing us in the right direction, but ultimately it's how we react and how we deal with these changes. So I think the thing to think about is that um, change could be coming to you this week, a fortunate change, a positive change for you. Simply, I would say between the sun and the wheel here, positive changes perhaps with respect to your relationships. And the two of cups, the potential here for a very strong, transformative, loving union. So very interesting. Take a look at 
information and a message for meditation or focus area for the week. The Lady of Lightning surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. So, yes, surprises. Sometimes things happen quickly, and again, it goes to the wheel of fortune. Life is move, moving and moving and moving. The wheel is continually spinning. And sometimes your position changes, and you have to be able to react and to deal with things. Sometimes good events, sometimes not so good. But as long as you are aware and thinking of flexibility, it's going to help. Surprises, sometimes shock, and a total paradigm shift. And it could be the paradigm of relationships shifting into something very serious and uh, joyful. Listen, two of cups in the sun, happiness. I mean, the potential there is phenomenal. Okay, this is for spirit or emotional self. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it's now gone. Let's see if I can get that so you can see that. So... Yeah, in order to, you know, in order to have these really deep and meaningful relationships, you can't be thinking about someone from your past. You have to be present. You have to be in the now with them. And uh, it, I, I like the word carting, carting your past around. It is exhausting. Let it go. Let it go and see what the present and the future bring. And now let's choose a card for love. Self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Always a beautiful card, a beautiful idea. In order to give love, you really have to be able to love yourself and feel good about yourself. So letting your past go, recognizing all of the wonderful qualities that you have that make you vibrant, radiant, and beautiful. You know, that attracts the right type of people for you. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I wish you a fantastic week, and I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.